I'm going to create C++ program that will accept two values. So number of hours and number of minutes. Then the program will compute for the combined total number of minutes. So we're going to uh, create an expression or formula for that. Then finally, uh, we're going to uh, display the total number of minutes. So ano yung mga kailangan natin? So first, we need to declare two variables. So yung hour, ito, and minutes. Okay? Then gagamit tayo, of course, ng C in. Uh, then uh, next is uh, magkoconstruct tayo ng formula to compute for the uh, total number of minutes. Remember, there are 60 minutes in every hour. At meron tayong dalawang input. So yung hour part, yun lang ay convert natin into minutes kasi yung second input natin is already in minutes. So ito yung ating uh, formula. And uh, dito, uh, makita nyo na, I introduce another variable which is dot min no? that will contain the total number of minutes. Then finally, uh, we're going to use the C out to display the total number of minutes. Gagamit tayo ng online IDE, no? yung online GDB. So let's get it on. So, magkikrate ako ng code sa online GDB. So, online GDB is an online IDE to create the code, compile, and run uh, your C++ program. Para ma-access natin yung online GDB, uh, in-open natin yung browser, then uh, type mo na lang yung online GDB.com. Then, ito na yung landing page. So, una mong gagawin, first thing that you're going to do is to select the language. So, C++ kasi we're going to create C++ program. So, ito yung default program. I, some of the lines, hindi ko kailangan. No? So, ito, hindi ko kailangan. I don't need these lines. So, dinilit ko. Then, ito rin, hindi ko kailangan to Kasi, I'm going to use C out instead of print F. So, ang una kong gagawin so, is to insert comment lines. So, what this program is all about. Ayan, sabi dito, this program will accept two input, hours and minutes. So, importante rin yung ano eh. Nialagyan natin ng documentation. So, so pag kita pa lang natin sa code, we know what this code is all about. Alright. So, we're going to declare two variables. So, sabi sa problem kasi, no? Hours and minutes. So, i-declare ko siya as integer. Okay? Depende sa problem, no? Pag sinabi ni, ng problem, uh, pwede mag-accept ng with fractional. So, ang gagamitin natin dun is ano, no? float or double. Okay? Integer lang tayo kasi whole number. Then, hr then comma minutes min so dineclare ko na yung magkasabay no yung hours so separated with comma then next na gagawin natin is to di display natin yung message na enter number of hours so di ba ito yung message niya enter number of hours so normally ang string is uh, enclosed with uh, double quotes so gagamit tayo ng c out then ito yung symbol niya no towards c out Okay, yung le double uh, less than. Okay, then of course terminated with semicolon. Kailangan natin palang i-declare din yung namespace para hindi na tayo maggagamit ng mga prefix sa ating C in and C out. So normally, nagla ang practice ko madalas, no, besides the C out, uh, mag input tayo, nilalagay ko yung C in. Then, extraction operator, yung double, uh, at tawag dito extraction operator, dito, ito insertion operator. Okay. Then uh, the variable which is the hour, okay? Then ang gagawin ko, yung minutes naman. So normally sineselect ko na lang to. O, select na lang natin 'yan. O yung previous C out mo, just copy and paste na lang natin. So at least nakatipid tayo ng mga keys, okay? So second is the enter number of minutes, okay? Uh, then align lang, ay lagyan natin ng uh, colon dito para mas magandang tingnan. Okay. Then, C in uh, towards the variable minutes or min. So, on big point, we have the value now for hr and min. So, we need to combine these two values. But remember, uh, itong value na ito magkaiba ng units. No? Yung hr is in number of hours, ito minutes. So, kung if you want to com compute for the combination of these two into number of minutes lang, Ito lang part ng kailangan natin siyang i-convert into minutes. Okay? Hindi na natin ito kailangan yung second input kasi naka-minutes na siya. Insert another comment. Sabihin ko na lang na compute for num total number of minutes. So, combine, no? So, combine number of minutes. Pwede na akong directly mag-see out. So, ano yung di-display natin? Yung message na total 
number of minutes. Okay? Then, inalagay ko na ngayon yung yung kanyang computation, HR, yung expression, times natin ng 60, then plus min. Okay, so para mas maganda, kasi maganda gawin natin, insert tayo ng blank line, ENDL dito, yan. So try natin ni run, click on run, op nag-error. So sabi niya sa error, see out was not declared. Uh, so ano yung reason? Remember yung uh, kaninang default program niya, yung, yung binura kong lines, uh, nag, ang ginamit niyang pang output is printf which is part of stdio so pinalitan natin ng cout so dapat papalitan din natin yung kanyang library kasi cout belongs to io stream hindi siya sa stdio so tingnan natin ulit no kung okay na yan so run natin so yun tumakbo na siya okay so ang error kasi yung wrong we ano we declare wrong library so Yun, run na natin to So, let's say mag-enter ako ng 4. Then, uh, let's say 30. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kukubay natin to no? So, 60 times plus 240 plus 30 is 270. So, dapat total niyan is 270 minutes. So, tumama siya. So, let's try to improve our code. So, instead of indicating here the expression, so, I'm going to introduce another variable no, that will contain the value of this expression. So, magde-declare ako, let's say, ng another uh, variable which is dot min. Okay. Then, sa ako ngayon, kukumpitin dito. Okay, compute for the number of minutes. Dot min okay, is equal to. So, copyin ko na lang ito. No? So, seselect ko siya. Then, control X. Tapos, type ko yung dot min dito. Okay, then, punta ako rito. And sa control B, okay? Then sa my colon. So mas medyo na impol readability niya, no? Pero yun nga lang, we need to introduce another variable. So let's try to run again the program. Okay? So this time mga 2 2 na lang para medyo hindi masyado mahirap mag uh, compute. Uh, so 2 times uh, 60 is 120 plus 30 is 150 minutes. So tama siya. Okay? So, yung last improvement natin gagawin, so, depende ito, no, kung ano yung uh, nire-require sa problem. Let's say, ang nire-require sa problem, gagamit tayo ng constant. So, kung ang given problem mo is, uh, you are required to declare constant or yung tinatawag natin name literals. So, in this expression, so, meron kang 60 here, no, which represents the conversion of hour into minutes. So, kasi there's always, ano, no, 60 minutes in one hour. So, we're going to declare uh, name literals. No? So, mag-start tayo ng cons. Then, so, so, almost the same with the declaring a uh, variable. So, integer tayo. Then, what's the name of your uh, constant? Uh, mean per hour. Okay, yan. Then, the value, 60. So, when you say constant, hindi, hindi mo na pwede itong palitan no? uh, throughout the program, in the entire program. So, ito na ngayon. I'll just copy this name literal and replace this 60 dun sa literal. Okay? So, run na natin. So, 2, then 15. So, 120 plus 15 is 135 minutes. So, press ko ng enter. So, tumama siya. So, I just want to give an emphasis to this arithmetic expression. So, remember, ah, in any computer language, it follows yung tinatawag na PEMDAS or precedence of arithmetic operations. So, parenthesis, exponentiation, then followed by multiplication and division, then lastly, we have addition and subtraction. So, here we have multiplication and addition. So, obviously, ang mauna dyan is the multiplication because it has higher precedence. Okay? Pero kung gusto mo talaga na medyo ma-improve pa yung readability niya na Pagtingin mo pa lang eh, mauna talaga yung uh, multiplication. So, we can use parenthesis. So, we can enclose this with parenthesis. Okay? Para big sabihin, yan na mauna. Then, sa kanya i-add dun sa minutes. So, pwede rin yan. No? So, then, i natin. Okay, then, enter natin to 2. Then, 15. So, in-expect natin, the total of number of minutes is 135. So, tumama na naman siya. Okay? So, we are 
done.